Hey everybody, Craig Cottle from Nature Reliance School, guest instructor with DansDepot.com. We've got a uh, prototype of new pack that looks like Dan and them's going to be carrying. Uh, it's got the logo on it and everything. It's a pretty cool pack. Uh, it's basically the same format of what we had before with some nice additions and upgrades. So uh, keep a lookout for these. But what we want to talk about today in this video is some organizational thoughts in your kit. One of the cool features about this particular pack that Dan and them offer at Dan's Depot is that it is coyote brown or basically basically earth toned. So um, that gives you a couple advantages. You can use this in a hunting situation. You can use this in a situation where you need to be um, blending in with your environment. And at the same time, uh, you can use it for every regular day use. For example, this year during deer season, my pack had my survival kit in it. While at the same time, uh, I just added a few items because I have plenty of room to add in my deer hunting supplies too uh, that might be in addition to a regular survival kit. So one of the benefits of a pack like this is you have these Molly system straps and with that you have the ability to add uh, other pockets and pouches from multitude of suppliers and I dare say Dan and them will be offering that sometime too. But um, you can add pockets, uh, pouches of any sort for compasses and, and GPS units or anything else you want to add in or you got plenty of room in this pack anyway. But one of the things I want to point out is that these pockets allow you to organize things uh, if for a survival situation. So for me personally, I like to have a few things that are really easy to get to. Uh, so in this top pocket here, um, basically what I keep in here is basically my ferro rod um, and paracord and my water filter because those are absolute essentials to what it is that I'm going to be doing, whether it's hunting or whether it's a survival kit situation or whatever. Um, also, you have these two big pockets, and in those, you know, we're going to have shelter building supplies and stuff of that nature because they're a little bit bulkier. But the thing, a couple of little things that I've learned uh, through a lot of trial and error uh, that I really want to help you with today are real simple. And as well, they're also really important to your safety. Okay, something like this orange bandana, it makes this pack go from being something that, you know, is really easy to, to use in a hunting situation where you don't need to be seen to something that's easily be seen. So I always keep an orange bandana tied to the top of my packs. Always. Never do I take a pack out that doesn't have this tied to the top of it. My survival whistle that we've talked about in another video for signaling, check that out. Uh, is always real easy to use because um, you want to have that uh, uh, really quick and able to use so that you can keep your pack on your body. The other thing is your light. You know, we got headlamps in the Dan's Depot kit now, uh, which was something me and Dan talked about several times. One of the things, and, and I'm so glad that they're now added to the kit, the, uh, I always keep mine tied to my, I always have packs that have handles on top and I always keep my headlamp tied to that handle because in any given situation, you're gonna, even if you're, because we recommend you use this for in a camping situation too, right? So you can practice your skills. Uh, any type of situation you're gonna go out and particularly in a survival stressed out crisis situation, you don't wanna have to go digging in your pack looking for everything. You wanna know where it is. So in this particular situation, I always keep my headlamp uh, easy to access so that when I need to go looking, I've got my headlamp really close by. Beyond that, uh, and I've said this before, but I always like to say it over and over and over again, you need to keep a knife on your body and a fire starting source on your body at all times. So I always have a lighter in my pocket and I always have a knife on me of some sort. This is a neck knife that I forged, hand forged years ago. But um, uh, any type of knife that you feel comfortable with. Uh, you know, the Moras are so light and I've got two neck knives that I've made out of Mora sheaths where I've just used paracord to make neck knives too. So uh, too easy not to carry a knife and a fire starting source in your, on your person at all times. And then these are some ideas for the pack. Again, whistle easy to get to. Headlamp, this is, this is really cool. Headlamp tied to your handle so it's easy to find. An easy way to find your pack in itself. And then use the pockets any way you want to. You do it the way you want to, but this is the way I do it. Because again, in the law of threes, this, this contains everything that's basically within three days in it. 
basically in my front pocket I got my shelter and in this top pocket I've got fire building and water filtration so keep those things in mind hope that helps you do it the way you want to do it these are some suggestions that we've utilized over the years and it really works well for us so until next time I hope to see you on or off the trail <laughs>